Okay, welcome to tonight's chart focus. Um, I'm going to try and do a quick video tonight before I get myself sorted for flying off to Sydney tomorrow. As you may have read on Twitter, I'll be at the um, Sydney Traders and Investors Expo Friday and Saturday at 1.30 just for half an hour. Uh, seminar room 2 or um, via the FP Market stand. They'll be able to point you in the right direction if you're at all interested. Alright, quickly the XJO touched 4700 yet again today and couldn't close above there so it's still a real sticking point for us. Um, tomorrow may be the day, who knows, US futures mildly up as I type this but anything could happen overnight, US uh, European markets also mildly up so some encouraging signs, our market seemed to hold up relatively well today but let's see if we can eventually break this little range we've been in between 4600 and 4700 in the next week or so. Right, tonight I thought I'd focus on the rare earth plays. I've been mentioning them a fair bit today on the swings. So uh, I thought I'd throw a few of those charts up and we'll just have a look at the common theme today where most of them seem to bounce pretty hard. Right, this is ARU. Had a cap raise today announced at $1.20. It already dumped pretty heavily and pretty suspiciously you would think the two days before it certainly felt like someone in the know getting out but I'm sure nothing will ever get done about it um, it was $1.42 before today's announcement actually hit as low as $25.5 I was lucky, to, lucky enough to pick up some $1.28 um, had been buying them the day before the halt as well so pretty much averaged down which many a book will tell you you should never do but it's something I do uh, selectively pretty often um, but certainly pick my targets. So quite big volume the day before the halt and huge volume again today so and close near its highs more importantly so pretty impressive performance today and now that the cap raise is out of the way um, you'd like to hope we've got some upside. I suppose what we could do there, I'll pull this into a three month is just well, wrong button sorry about that is um, run some fibs over there maybe on this previous range just to get an idea of all right there's no fibs going on there is there what's going on here try again okay so we'll run fibs from there to there see if we can get some ideas of targets on the way up so the first target's about dollar forty five next one low fifties maybe fifty two which seems to fill this little gap on the way back up as well uh, next one's there about a dollar sixty, so between a dollar five and six, a uh, dollar forty-five and a dollar sixty, maybe the area that it finds some um, some resistance if it does in fact kick on. But pretty impressive behaviour today, so happy with that one. Okay, next one we'll have a look at is OIC, probably one of the biggest rare earths plays here in Australia, and again dipped pretty substantially from almost a dollar eighty. Was our high there, dollar seventy nine down to as low as a dollar forty one. Just out of interest, let's whack the fibs on here as well and see if we could have picked up. We could probably, let's run it right down to this figure here. Look at that, exactly off the dollar forty. So um, fibs would have picked that dip up pretty well. We'll get rid of that one. Let's even try running just for interest sake. We'll try running it just to the last dip and see if that would have picked us up. Not really. So we'll get rid of that one again. So anyway, the fib off that range from there to there would have given you a bit of an idea where this was going to bounce. More importantly, it's probably filled this little gap here. Uh, so it's pretty textbook where it bounced from and bounced with some decent volume. No bigger, Not as big as the dump day the day before, but enough volume uh, to suggest that there could be more upside again tomorrow. To show you the intraday chart of that, that's the daily chart. Really, they couldn't dip it very much at all. Quite strong towards the end and close on its highs. So, uh, another one I'm happy with the the action today and was happy to take the punt and hold some overnight. Um, ALK is yet another. Okay, so again, high of a dollar twenty almost down to lows today. Actually, it breached yesterday's low of seventy two and a half. Um, let's pull up a six months chart. Throw some fibs on this one. Again, fibs are 
Actually, I'll get rid of that for a moment. Um, you know, it's not an exact science to fibs. You could, there's many different places of, of these bottoms that you could throw it, but let's take the main range from there, say down to before the big run up, and see if we could have picked anything up. So I'll take it from there right down to there. Yeah, pretty close to the 50. So again, if you use the sort of 62 to 38 as some kind of range, you know, that you're looking for that bounce, certainly in there was the spot. So um, bounced nicely. Probably one that hasn't had a cap raise yet, so I'd be a little bit wary of that, but on pretty good volume again today and close on its highs. So pretty impressive and would like to see some um, follow-up upside tomorrow. And again, those lows, if you have a look, pretty much pretty much pick up this previous resistance here which is probably turning into support now. Uh, so whether these just become short term scalps or good long term entries only time will tell but they're all looking pretty impressive today. Yet another NTU didn't dump nearly as much as the others but a strong run up today on increasing volume certainly bigger than the three down, the last three down days for the last four down days so not as big as the previous two before that but looking good. Um, I think that's about all I've got for you in the rare earth plays. GXY I think was another one actually. I'll have a quick look at that. I'm on all four of the ones I mentioned before. Again GXY didn't dip so much. Probably hasn't run to the heights that some of the others have but um, bounced nicely today. So what I'd suggest with the rare earths now is we, we've seen some of the majors. Aha! Uh -huh before I go any further. Peck, there was one more that I mentioned on the uh, Twitter. And this was a beautiful straight line dip here. And it's broken this downtrend on some volume. Um, again, it's one that's had a cap raise. Let's back the fibs on this one and see if we could have got a feel for the bounce. And look at that, pretty close to 38 again. So um, they can be pretty reliable sometimes. All right, what I was going to say before is what I'd suggest you can do with the rare earth plays as well as looking at the ones that have already started to swing is start to look at some of the other smaller rare earth plays that have been smacked lately and see if um, there's some that haven't had that bounce yet that may follow on so um, some we could look at could include say triple G so that's how the dip started to bounce today but actually failed so um, Looks like it couldn't go on with it at all. Uh, what else is there? One of the ones that ran um, on some rare earth news a couple of days ago was MTB. So I'll have a look at that one. This is a micro cap stock. Look at that. It, it was one cent, got up to 3.2 after the news. It's dipped right back down to 1.6, close on its lows, but pretty close to filling this gap. Um, and again, we could try the fibs on this one, I suppose. Maybe go back to right back to the bottoms there. Certainly nothing really of note there. Um, but I'd be looking at this one to set an alert maybe at the break of today's high, which is at 1.8 there. And then if the swing looks like it's in play, might be able to ride some of that. So I'd suggest going through uh, as many of the other rare earth plays as possible. Well, this was what I'd be doing if I wasn't on a plane to Sydney in the morning. Um, and looking for similar patterns that might follow some of those majors. Okay, um, that's about all I've got for you. I'll just show you one or two other charts that caught my interest. One was MTN. Okay, that's my nine minute alert. I'm trying to keep these to under 10 minutes or thereabouts. MTN actually came up on my potential rare earth plays research a little while ago. Um, it's a re uranium play and it, it appears most of the ura uranium stocks uh, where there's uranium there could be rare earths. Uh, this one came up on my scans a while ago. Big volume in the last three or four days. I've actually missed this one for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I think I missed this breakout here when it gapped and then just haven't chased it. But massive volume in the last few days. So that might be worth watching for some follow on. There's a 12 months looking a little bit overheated now but certainly goes into my watch list with some action like that. Um, other charts maybe I'll get a quick two or three in before I go. Won't go into too much detail. Maybe some of the top end stuff that came up on the scans. DJs, possible swing low. 
nice break of this downtrend here a little bit of volume kicked in so that one's looking like a chance um, I'll pull JBH up just keeping with that retail sector theme possible swing low shape in here and maybe break of this recent tight range so $20, $20 on the nose is resistance nice key level there for resistance as well so bit of volume kicking in if it could break 20 you would think there'd be a nice trade in that one as well so I'd be setting an alert at $20 on that one um, alright let's do one more let's go IRL back to a little one Okay, tiny little two and a half cent stock broken, broken recent 2.3 cent res today close to 2.4 I think hit a high of 2.5 on good volume so maybe plenty more upside here one last thing quickly again if you wanted to look for targets you could make some fibs on either that high or that high but let's go for this one right up here on this last range and get some possible targets so that one there's around three which correlates here with previous resistance as well the 50s up at around three and a half again some some support on the way down there which could uh, cause resistance on the way back up and then this this uh, next one's up here through this congestion as well so it's fibs might give you some likely targets on the way back up all right that's all I've got for you tonight um, I'm on a plane to Sydney and won't be trading so the Twitter will probably fairly empty tomorrow but all the best, I'll talk to you over the weekend.